Hello everybody, Shadefire here, and today we're checking out the Sniper Ghost Warrior 3 beta, which is up for the weekend. So, in my experience with the... Uh, with the previous two games, the first game was hilariously bad, but in the entertaining sort of way, like you just want to see where it goes from there, so maybe that's a good thing. Uh, I played a little bit of the second game for first impressions, and wasn't too impressed with it. I mean, it looked pretty, and it was more of a proper first-person shooter, but it just wasn't very interesting from what I saw, because it tried a little too hard for the realism, I think. This one, on the other hand, from what I've seen of it, looks to be a much more interesting game. This might actually be a legitimately good game. Uh, I'm not actually sure what's in this beta in terms of content, because, you know, there was some people doing footage of this game, like, five months ago, certain, uh, you know, promotional videos for it, but uh, I don't know if this will be the same setup as that. So let's just get in here. I guess we can only play on normal in the beta. Welcome to Sniper Ghost Warrior 3 Sniper Tactics video. Scope calibration. First they're going to teach us how to snipe a man. Before taking a shot, there are several factors to be considered. Check the distance to your target and set your scope elevation accordingly to compensate bullet drop. The red bar on your wind indicator will show you how far the bullet will be influenced by the wind for the set distance. When everything is set, slowly exhale and pull the trigger. Remember, if you pull the trigger too fast, you will break the shot. Positioning. Take advantage of your surroundings to maximize your efficiency while sniping. I mean, it does seem like they're still going for a degree of realism. Use the environment to reduce weapon sway to a minimum. You know, more than something like uh, Sniper Elite. Which is all about sniping, but still a lot more arcade -y. It's easier to aim your rifle when crouching or laying down. I mean, I have used a sniper rifle in a video game before, I do understand this game. But I, I Line assume there's probably a lot of people who take don't. Down several enemies with one bullet. Is that a child soldier in the front? When at a disadvantage, use special bullets to regain control. The Drone. Recon is critical for planning and executing your mission. Use the drone to locate your enemies, sabotage objects, and enemy devices to gain a tactical overview of the mission area. Well-executed recon will expose weak points in enemy defenses, allowing you to carry out your strategies with deadly precision. And yet I bet we don't even need to do half of this to succeed. Well, this is a really long tutorial video. Alright, so you can prop up your rifle on edges, which is always a nice little feature that uh, visual and was absent from Arma for far too long. Find a spot to take him out. Despite its claims of being a milsim. Alright, so I think this might actually be the same area as the previous footage. North? No, oh, maybe is not. Headquarters. We're sending you coordinates to the nearest safe house. There you'll find equipment and mission information. Good luck, Marine. JSOC over and out. I mean, it looks the same kind of area. But, uh. I think the other one started right in the safe house, which is like a cave. But yeah, I mean, right off the bat, there's driving. This is a kind of open game. I don't think it's going to be like a real open world game, but, uh, you know, you'll have freedom of how to get to your target and take them down, that sort of thing. It's sort of a hybrid open world. Oh my god, world. I lose my mind with this music. He turned it off with his mind. 
or there's a radio control on the back of the steering wheel. Scout mode. Okay, that's probably our, like, special vision mode. You know, I feel like it kind of gives away your, uh, your sneaky hideout if there's, like, zip lines coming out of it and a car parked in front and a road, like, right there. Nobody will know we're here. <coughs> yeah, so this is pretty much exactly the same then. So we're going to have to go around to some radar towers and shut them off. So here's a little hideout. We live in a cave for some reason. I guess this is the most secure location. No one would ever know that we're in here. Nobody noticed us installing all this stuff or anything. Alright, so what do we got for weapons? Probably a sniper rifle, who would have guessed? XM2015. Hmm, I actually don't know what kind of gun that is. I mean, the XM designates that it's currently a uh, testing phase US military rifle, but usually those are guns that are already, you know, in existence before, and then they get the XM designation while they're being tested for, you know, field service. So we can't change this, can we? Okay, we have two other sniper rifles, but how much cash do we have? 30,000. Uh, more recoil absorption, slightly higher fire rate. Not silenced, apparently. <laughs> I feel like we kind of want a silenced sniper rifle. 338. 762. So, it would be neat to play around with the Lapua Magnum uh, round here, but... Is that... I think 338 is Lapua Magnum. Could be wrong, though. Eh, we'll just stick with the default, I guess. Regular mag. Um, probably want an adjustable zoom scope instead of just a 12. Shit's expensive, though. So yeah, now we can switch between, you know, 6 times, 12 times, and 24 times magnification. Silencer, definitely want that. I wonder if... Yeah, okay, so we could probably put a silencer on those other ones. Don't have any camo. Uh, do we really want an AK? Archer AR-15. I mean, to my untrained eye, that does look like a scar. A slightly modified down scar, but still. And a shotgun. I mean, we're supposed to be sneaky, right? So if shit hits the fan, I think I'm going to want a shotgun. Okay, stick with the pistol. Could put a laser sight on it for 68. Why not? Can't put a bipod on my pistol. Karambit. Uh, adrenaline pack probably is our slow mo ability or breath hold or whatever. Got our helicopter. Uh, what else can we buy? We have a couple slots actually, so I shouldn't replace that. Silencer repair kit. Can you really repair sil silencers? I thought you generally just kind of dispose of them after using them a couple times. Because, I mean, silencers wear out pretty quick. But I didn't think you could actually repair them. Gas mine. Noxious gas. Well, I mean, I, I think in this game we don't have to worry about non-lethal, so... I don't need to bring any, like, knockout... So it says noxious, so maybe that just kills them or stuns them. Uh, let's grab a couple smokes and a couple flash. And maybe we'll bring some C4, you know, just in case. We need to blow something up. Still got a lot of money left. Armor, definitely take that, because I know I'm going to get shot. Don't have any camo. Okay. Uh, what else do we got here? Oh, jeez. All the different kinds of ammo we can make here. Um, do we need crafting materials for this? It looks like we do, but we might actually have a bunch. Yeah, okay, we have a hundred of each resource. So, we're using a 7.62. Maybe we should make some fancy ammo. 
vehicles and targets in cover. Let's make 10 AP rounds, and... Um, there's not a lot of fancy 7.62. We can't make exploding rounds. We can make tagging rounds. Which I guess they don't feel the impact of, even though it does damage? Oh no, it tags enemies within radius, so we don't actually want to shoot somebody with this. We want to shoot, like, the ground, and then it scans stuff. So let's grab some of those, too. Oh, we could have just crafted some grenades. And don't have stuff for medkits, because I already used it all. Pills. Two health chunks. Eh, let's grab a few of those. Because, again, I expect I'm probably going to shot. Okay, adrenaline is just more health. So, you know, small health, medium health, lots of health. Uh, mechanics. Okay, so here's the, the... You know, they've broken down the name of the game into three skill trees. The sneaky sniper stuff... Or no, sorry, the, the shooting long distance stuff is the sniper stuff. You know, ghost is our sneakiness, and warrior is our just, you know, shooting and running kind of stuff. So we have four skill points in each tree, I guess. Longer breath holding would be handy. Um, we probably can't even get this stuff in the beta. I guess we'll get... Oh, no, we can. I just had to spend enough of it. Sea sounds. Crafting traps. Quick loot dead enemies after melee kills. Let's go with the echolocation. I guess the quick loot, too. Might as well spend these points. Carry more ammo for assault rifles. All right. I think we are ready to kill some people now. Didn't I just do this? Okay, yeah. <laughs> I guess it wasn't expecting me to explore those tabs. Gadgets, equipment... Use the bed. I guess we're gonna skip time to night. Oh, we get to pick when we want to skip to. It's 12.32 now. So yeah, I guess we'll skip to like uh, 6.30, right around when the sun's probably going down. Okay, three stances. objectives. Okay, yeah, so these are the two kind of uh, missions we can do in the beta. These are both the same missions that were in the previous stuff. So, let's see. Sure, let's go kill this guy. Got some new intel for me? New category of targets. The most wanted list. The most dangerous separatist <coughs> monsters out there. We're talking horrific war crimes. JSOC <coughs> wants them to dispense with where and when we find them. What about the ICC? This is American justice. Shoot <coughs> first, ask questions later. Yeah, well, I've seen separatist handiwork in the field, so I don't have any questions. Torture and killing of POWs, rape and burning civilians alive. First target on the most wanted list is Ivan Khrushchev. Ivan Khrushchev, yeah. Rodke Lyons said I could find him in the blocks. New intel has him moving around the complex. He's deeply paranoid and always travels with a heavy escort. No fancy footwork, John. In and out quickly. Do as much damage as you can and head home. Will do. Out. So that uh, American Justice line is kind of funny considering this is a Polish dev. They know what's up. Alright, so we got to drive to the target location, but there's uh, some question marks on the map here, which are probably little side things. That's weird. Is there anything here that denotes this as being a, a fast travel point? There's no, like, bus stop or anything, it's just literally a crossroads. Alright.
So yeah, I like the idea of a sniper game where, you know, it's not just like a Sniper Elite where you're placed into missions and then have to find and kill your targets. In this one, we're actually put into the world and, you know, we have to go about our objectives in the way we choose. Kind of like a, a heavily sniping focused Far Cry. I think there's a capturable outpost up here by the marker on the map. So let's get a little uh, little sniper ghost warrioring practice in here. My shotgun does not have any ammo, turns out. I probably should have bought some. <laughs> oh shit, how much ammo do I have in my sniper? 30 rounds. Yeah, probably probably should have bought some ammo. Kind of thought it would just give me some to start with, which it did, but not that much. Hold. Can you only melee when you're running? I'm holding it. It doesn't do anything. Oh. Who saw me? Do we have binoculars? Do we really not have binoculars? Now we have the drone. How do I actually... I don't think it told me how to use the drone. So I'm going to check. Alright, so it's F. And I also found that we, just like Far Cry, you can throw a stone to uh, attract enemies. It's funny that not only is this the weekend of double, you know, realistic future shooters in beta at the same time, but they're also both Eyes games where you have drone. Oh shit. That's the guy that saw me. Now, do they know where I am just because I had a drone out? Yeah, I didn't... I didn't realize that guy was up to shit. Yep. That's a sniper, that's why he saw me. Alright, motherfucker. I don't know if I killed him, but I definitely hit him. Oh, this is not a good place. That was not a good place for me to be caught. Alright, fucked that up pretty good. Alright, well the checkpoint put me like right next to the mission objective. There is this little shack over here with some guys on the way. So maybe I can take out, you know, a smaller number of guys this time without fucking up. Also, I'm not actually sure how to adjust my uh, zeroing on the right side there. It doesn't seem to be listed in the controls right now. So there's a guy right in front of that shack. There's a car coming. Alright, I think he's passed. Uh, where's this guy? another one inside the shack or behind it oh that's a really ugly laser sight you can probably change the color but I feel like if I shoot him, he's going to stand up and turn around. Tango down. Some trading goods. So I assume we can actually, you know, sell this stuff to make some money, as you saw there. Actually, it looks like it auto-sells it, but uh, there's definitely going to be some kind of economy in this then. This actually seems very similar so far, conceptually, to, uh, you know, Ghost Recon Wildlands, the other game that I'm going to be covering this weekend that's also in beta. 
Is there ammo in here? There's something. Something marked. Oh, there's a box here. Some bullet heads, and that doesn't really help me. In that we're dropped into a country to deal with stuff, and probably are working with the rebels. Okay, so ideally we want to go up here and kind of scope the situation out. Can I not climb up a little higher? There's another car coming. Don't mind me. I'm just a, uh, you know, climbing enthusiast. I suppose since we're not using any uh, gear, this would be bouldering? Or does that only count on a course? I don't know if you really boulder in the wild. Alright, so we're up here. Doesn't mean we're not going to get spotted, though, because I'm very good at getting spotted. Ah, nice storm coming in. That should cover my tracks a little bit. Alright, so let's take a look around. Got some sort of... Uh, APC. Now, I'm wondering if we have, like, thermal goggles that we can put on to kind of scope these guys out better. Anybody on the roof? Any kind of, like, snipers or anything? Alright, let's try this drone again, hopefully not fuck it up. Oop. Flew into a tree. I would hope that if we're high enough up, they won't notice. See our battery meter at the bottom there is going down fairly quickly. Either that or we only had three bars to start with. What is that? A sniping spot? Okay, so there's one sniper, which I'll probably want to take out first. Now we're down to two battery. So, I haven't seen the target yet. He's probably in one of these buildings. In fact, I'm pretty sure from what I saw of this section before, he is definitely in one of these buildings. So we'd have to like look through the windows to find him. John, remember to find the crash drone. I've sent you its last location. Its GPS is still operational. Recover the data before someone else does. Roger. This guy's like... Super hidden? I guess because we're on a lower elevation, he's hard to see here. So nobody will know we did that because there's nobody else on that roof. Drone. Let's see. Hiding place. Corpse. Secondary objective, which I guess is on that rooftop with that guy. Mortar. Dudes. Sabotage. I could probably <coughs> snipe most of these guys. It's heavily guarded. Won't be easy to sneak into the building. Try to find the other way. Maybe you could take him out from a distance. Oh, 
hope nobody sees me running around over here. I will say this game gives you a more realistically limited scope view. Now, how can we actually get on the roof? Can I just... Oh, shit. Who the fuck spotted me there? It had, like, the sniper icon, but I thought we checked and there was only one sniper. You know, aside from me, the ghost warrior. This rain looks pretty good. Climb this pipe. Nope, I can clip through the pipe, but I can't climb it. So I can't go in the front door. At least it didn't seem like I can open this door. Let's try hitting a few things on it. Just like that, the rains have stopped. Shit. Movement on the perimeter. Okay, somebody spotted me, but he didn't actually fully spot me because I proned. Oh, hello. Hey. Didn't see him. Shit, someone's coming to investigate? No? That's my own footsteps. Okay, here's the door. I pick up this corpse so it's not kind of, you know, visible. Shit, it's one of ours. Wait, who saw that? Did he see this body? Yeah, there's gonna be a bunch of guys in here. Nope, it's okay. I didn't actually mean to throw that yet. <laughs> I can't see him. So, did I just kill myself? I killed myself with a flashbang that I threw at my C4, which detonated it somehow. <laughs> oh boy! All right, time to be a little sneakier, I guess. Might be a little difficult since it's broad daylight. I think there's a sniper in one of these windows. Not who so spotted us last time. Because I didn't look at the front of the building when I was scouting. You can probably see the target through one of these windows. So I bet if I can get up on this roof where this drone is, I can just shoot him. Now, I don't actually know if there's a dedicated melee button, or if you have to be sprinting to melee. Because, I mean, there's no melee button listed in the controls. Since walking up and shooting a guy with a pistol in the back a couple times isn't very stealthy, it turns out. For everyone else. So who is seeing me? It's definitely a sniper because it makes that sound and it has the little sniper indicator. Where the fuck is he? Go 
Doesn't look like he's on the roof. Wherever he is, he couldn't see me until I moved a little bit farther to the right. It's that guy. I hope nobody noticed that. Okay, and that should make things a lot easier now. I'm thinking I get up on this guy and I throw a rock so he looks the other way and just walk past him. Completely submerged. Oh, I thought somebody was walking up next to me, but he's inside the building. I pressed T and it put my gun away, but it didn't throw a rock. Alright, so much for that plan. Well, I mean, the only reason someone saw this guy last time is because the sniper was still up. <laughs> Can I pick up his body now? There's, like, not even an option to do, pick up his body. Alright, guess we're not moving him. Nothing. I just tipped over a rock or something. Can I just walk up and like... Okay, you gotta get really close. Well, that makes things a bit easier. Somebody's gonna see him, I think. Was a detection noise? Is that what that was? Okay, there's definitely a guy in this room somewhere. I mean, even having a skill where you loot a guy as you kill them is a very Far Cry thing. I, nope. <clears throat> I must be able to, like, slip up these. <clears throat> Since I don't think I can get to the other side of the building. Well, I can probably climb up here? No? I know you can climb. I mean, we did it. <clears throat> Just apparently not. <laughs> oh, there we go. Had to find the trigger point. Okay, there's probably still more guys in this building. We have eyes on the target. Oh. Can't go in that room. So I can slide along that one, but I couldn't do the one below it. Ah, the path's blocked. There has to be another way. Don't even really need to collect these things, but might as well. If only to satisfy my collection urge. Can't get outside. I was wondering if I could just climb up the balconies. I think there's a there's a hole in the roof somewhere around here we can climb. I may be able to get out here. Nope. I can't just, uh, shuffle over this stuff. Uh, the balcony looks like my only way out of here. Oh, there we go.
I mean, he's no, uh, he's no assassin, but he's a pretty good climber. <coughs> so here's well, our clear view of the entire outpost from up there. Drone a jigger. Oh, no wonder that guy didn't notice it. It's tiny. I found a crashed drone. Take it. It must be the one we're looking for. Right. Alrighty. So, can we confirm that he has to be in... Okay, he's in either of those two buildings in front of me. He can't be in those ones because they're outside the circle. So, if we look around enough, we should be able to just find him and shoot him. I've got a visual on Khrushchev. Target confirmed. That's our guy. Find a spot to take him out. I could have just taken him out there. Taken him out. It seems like I can't switch ammo types, even though we made a bunch of other ones. I don't know if I didn't take them out, or when I died it didn't save that I had made those, but we can't just shoot him through the wall with an AP round. We have to wait for him to actually uh, get into position. I should have just took the shot there. Could shoot him through this window. He's like in a back room or something, though, because he's not in either of these. Oh, he's coming back. Target's down. Nice kill. Now get out of there. Uh, can we get down from this roof easily? <coughs> like something I can climb down? Like this wire? No. I don't really want to have to walk all the way down. No, oh, that's not a real door. <laughs> Can I just kind of hang off the... Oh. That's not solid. I thought I could maybe just kind of bounce my way down from, like, balcony to balcony, but no. Thankfully, the checkpoint is on the roof. But then, okay, so, it respawned me on the roof, but the sniper respawned, and I haven't killed my target yet. That's pretty weird. Again, though, it's Love a beta, so the entire outpost from up there's there. probably some beta fuckery going on as well. That other sniper can still see me, too, from the other building. I've got a visual on Khrushchev. Target confirmed. That's our guy. Find a spot to take him out. Done and done. Target's down. Nice kill. Now get out of there. Now we just need to exfil without falling off the roof. I guess I'll go the slow way. This is where we need some kind of wingsuit or something so we can just glide off the roof and get away. Okay, we got up here from the balcony. But not this balcony. <laughs> I, like, don't remember how to get down now. Climb up this way. <laughs> he doesn't want to climb down. Now, <laughs> oh, there we go. I didn't get that option last time. Probably don't want to release here because I don't think he'll grab that other ledge. I can't 
can't swing either. Like he won't. Uh, oh. I guess I could just you know, go this way instead of going my own way. At least we won't have to call it another lonely day. He respawns and I forgot about that. Shit. This thing, right? Like, all these enemies I snuck past are here again. So I have to, like, reverse sneak past them now. Fuck off. Oh, he didn't die from that. Died from that, though. Let's, uh, make, like, a tree and get the fuck out of here. Nope. Ah, oh, vehicle locked. Oh boy. Shoot the target. Yep. Turns out you can't serpentine very quickly with a sniper rifle. Attack. Good job. Mission accomplished. Okay, well I think I would have got that pretty cleanly if I didn't fall off the roof. Oh. This demo or beta definitely has a a weird stutter anytime you try to bring up a menu or anything. Like kind of a pause. Alright, and that's it. That's the end of our, uh, one of our missions. There's one more mission in the beta. You know, I think I might actually, uh, I might actually do the other mission as well in a separate video. Reporting casualty. So, um, that's our first, uh, target kill in Sniper Ghost to Warrior 3. And yeah, this seems like a way better game than either of the other ones was. It's still maybe a little heavy on the, uh, the sniper realism, but, you know, it, it is a sniper game. That's kind of to be expected. And, you know, if you're not looking for that, well, Sniper Elite 4 is also coming out this month. So, there is that. Anyhow, I've been Shadefire, the Sno Sniper Ghost Warrior 3, and I hope you'll join me again for some more man shooting from a distance. Oh, Jesus. Nope, nothing here. Alright, take care, folks.